guys and welcome back to Mental Health Mondays. I am so sorry that these videos stop. They are my absolute favourite to film and I absolutely love the fact that they help you guys. Um, so yeah, basically I took a little bit of a break because if you watch my life update video you'll have known that my mental health has been a bit up and down. Lots of stuff has been going on but I feel like now I'm in a mindset to restart Mental Health Mondays and I'm going to be starting with a highly requested series and that is mental health at uni. I thought I would do a series on kind of different elements um, of mental health at uni to help those of you. Obviously you can apply these to like school, college and like just general tips. time of year where you've been at uni for what like a couple of months a month and a bit and you may be feeling like you haven't made enough friends you may feel like you don't go out enough you may be isolating yourself in your room you may even be thinking about dropping out I know this time what was it two years ago I was definitely considering dropping out I managed to last till Christmas so only like another month and a bit. Uni can either amplify your mental health or it can bring up issues that you never even have struggled with before. And there are many reasons for this. I feel like the main ones are the fact that you are so independent. You are not spoon fed everything that you are when you're in school. I know I found it really difficult to have to do everything for myself and like find out what to do. Like it's not, how do I put this? It's not signposted as clearly as it is in school that, that you don't get told you do this you go here these are the books you need to buy I mean you get a rough idea there's also money pressures so you know a lot of you will have moved away for the first time and you're learning to manage your money students are obviously renowned for not having a huge budget so you have to you're kind of thrown in the deep end we don't really get taught how to budget for things like uni um, and it's so expensive then there's the social aspect of things. I think there's this pressure, as soon as you go to uni you're expected to join a load of societies and go out all the time, do freshers, uh, be really close with the people that you're in halls with and obviously if you're not like that, which I am not really, I mean I can be sociable but like you know I have a limit. I let my anxiety win and I didn't join any of the societies. I did go out a lot, I did socialise with my flatmates, however I did find myself isolating myself and that brings me to my next point is that it's very easy to isolate yourself. Obviously you live with other people but it is very easy to not see them if you don't want to. For example, as the weeks went on, I would spend more and more time like just in my room. I wouldn't want to go in the kitchen when anyone else was in the kitchen. I would literally wait until I knew that there was no one in the kitchen to go and like do whatever I needed to do in there. You might feel that you can't really open up to any of your flatmates about your mental health issues and then that makes it even more difficult. Also the fact that you're away from your friends and family, that can be very, very isolating and very, very difficult. So there's all of these reasons and I promise you, if you're feeling like this, I'm gonna try my best to help you. I have compiled my top five tips for what to do if you are struggling at uni. So here we go. Number one is to reach out for guidance. And this can sound simple and hard at the same time. Obviously when you're struggling, the best thing to do is to reach out for help. But with mental health, there are so many reasons why you might find this difficult. You might not like speaking on the phone. You might feel like super anxious about um, going to see someone. You might just, be so depressed that you really can't be bothered. Like, whatever the reason is, yes, it's difficult. But if you're feeling shit and you don't wanna feel like that, you're just gonna have to bite the bullet and you're gonna have to reach out and ask for help. So what I would recommend doing for the first step is to do some research, get on Google and have a look and see what resources are available if you haven't already at your uni. All unis will have like a student wellbeing section. Some are better than others but you just need to find out what's the deal at your uni, basically. It will be most likely on their website and they'll have all the contacts on there. So your next step is to contact the student wellbeing people. So obviously if you're already in contact with them, make another appointment, go and see them, tell them what's going on. But 
if you haven't make an appointment to go and see them again yes like i would not want to call them up so my preferred method would probably be to send them an email which luckily you can do nowadays you don't need to tell them everything that's going on just explain that you need help that your mental health is bad and that you want to make an appointment and come and see them and find out what your options are there are also charities like student minds which i didn't actually know about when i was at uni but when i was doing some research for this video i came across them and their website seems really really good they've got loads of different courses for different mental illnesses and I, I saw that they do run in only specific universities, but you know, it's a start. Another option at this stage would be to go to your GP. Um, and obviously if you haven't registered, go and register, just get it done, go and see them and then ask them what the options are in your area. Number two, and you may find yourself doing this before step number one, is to speak to people that you feel you can speak to. So obviously you're reaching out for help, from strangers but most of the time it's easier to just ask for help from those closest to you so whether that's your parents your best friend your cousin like whoever it is you speak to about your mental health issues it's just important to inform your loved ones what's going on just so that they know the situation and that they're aware and then they can try and do whatever they can to help number three is to speak to the person at the head of your course um, or it can be like a tutor that you're close to. If your struggles are affecting your studies, it's so important to do this. And maybe once you've seen the welfare team, they will then inform your tutor whatever route you wanna go down. Basically, you just need to make sure that they are notified because you don't want them thinking you're lazy, not interested, blah, blah, blah. And also then you can work together to come up with a plan. So whether that's giving you more time on something and they can try um, best accommodate your needs. Number four is to keep yourself busy with small manageable tasks. Things like writing essays and you know, list concentrating in lectures and whatnot may seem like huge, unobtainable tasks to you so what you need to do strip it back and just focus on the small tasks you can write a to-do list for your day that doesn't necessarily have to include your uni work if you don't if you really feel that you cannot do that at least please try for me to get some small tasks in the day done and give yourself credit for them i feel like when we're in these situations we don't give ourselves credit for carrying on and doing some of the small tasks that may not seem big but they are big achievements. These can be getting out of bed, getting showered, getting dressed, feeding yourself, maybe going for a walk, doing some other kind of exercise, or even watching Netflix. If it distracts your brain for an hour from thinking about whatever it is that's going on, do it and write down all your achievements for that day. You wanna focus on the positives, not the negatives. Finally, tip number five is to remember that you're not alone. I would love, love, love you guys to comment your experiences of um, mental health at uni in the description below so we can get a kind of like community chat going um, because honestly, I have been there and from the amount of people that I've had contact me um, who are struggling, honestly I can tell you that there are so many others. I mean, one in four people at university are suffering with a mental health problem. I swear to you, you are not the only one that feels like this. So yeah, I really, really hope you found those tips helpful. I am always here to chat to. I'm sending all of my love to you guys. Really, really hope you like this video. Do give it a thumbs up if you did and as always leave me any suggestions for future mental health videos or normal videos in the description below and i will see you guys very soon goodbye